All right, so here we've got everything we need to do our installation. We've got our firearm. We've got our grip. This one's for the Sig Sauer P365 or 365XL. That's going to be EV12. And so we've got our scissors if we need to do any trimming. We've got our hair dryer, our heat gun. Let's go ahead and get started and open this package up. Alright, so inside we've got our grip, EV12, got our alcohol clean pad, got a nice little talent grip sticker. And so up here for the P365, we're going to trim out this A area. So you can see there's a line here. We have a 365XL, which we happen to have. Then that would require no trimming. You can kind of see how it aligns here. There'd be no trimming, it would just fit like so. So set that aside. And we're gonna go ahead and field strip this P365 clear. And there we go. Now that we're field stripped, we're gonna go ahead and trim this grip along that A section. I'm just gonna follow that line as best I can here. Take your time and follow that trim line. Some people will use a X-Acto knife. With my skill set, a pair of scissors tends to work better. So I'll just take my time and... Not too hard. Just following these contours. I'm just gonna trim that piece off. Keep going here. chose not to speed this portion of the video up, just wanted to show you it's important to take your time. There we go. Now that we've got that trimmed, we're just going to go ahead and test fit the grip. So with that backing still on, let's see how it aligns with the cuts that we just made. Alright, around the back there. Mm -hmm. Follows it nicely. Okay, that's pretty easy to see. Now we have a good idea how that fits on the firearm. We're going to go ahead and clean it with the supplied alcohol pad. Just going to thoroughly clean this now with this rough texture. I'm not going to get in there too hard, too rough, because it's going to tear apart this alcohol. If your firearm is especially dirty, maybe a toothbrush and some rubbing alcohol would help you out here. Ours is rather clean. So just a quick clean with this alcohol pad and make sure you get rid of all the oil and grease. And we'll let that completely dry. Under the instructions, we take off the back strap portion. This. I'm just going to go ahead and rip that paper off at the bottom here. The fire is dry, so we're going to go ahead and continue. I'm just going to try and align this. Right as centered as I can, leaving just a little bit of reveal on the bottom. Just lightly tacking it down. I want to see how the alignment looks. So it looks good on this right side. Let's 
check uh, this left side next. That looks pretty good. So I'm going to tack it down a little bit more on the back strap area here. If, if we needed to peel that off and adjust it, we certainly could. Now I'm going to peel off this right hand section of the grip, which is the longer section with the couple fingers that go under the trigger guard. Again, just lightly tacking it down and I'm looking from that back strap over. Making sure there's no interference with the mag release. Checking that reveal on the bottom as I as I go along, making sure it's nice and even. And just working from that back strap all the way over. This one comes up a little, so I'm just gonna peel it back, pull it down just a little bit. Straighten it out. Yeah, that looks better. Again, these are very easy to move should you have to readjust it. Alright, moving the other side. And just gonna do the same thing. Working from the back strap, coming across, work my way up. It's gonna overlap over the top of those fingers that we press down. Magazine loose button has no interference. It's nice and tight, but not interfering at all. So I'm just gonna keep tacking this down, looking at where it's at. Press it down a little more firmly as I work around one more time, making sure I like where the grip is positioned. step is just going to be to grab that heat gun or hair dryer works very well too. And so, when you heat this up it's important not to go over about 130 degrees as that will affect the adhesive but I like to make it feel like a warm cup of coffee so just heat up one side at a time use the meat of my hand along with pressing down with my thumbs. Pay extra attention to all those edges as you go around. Just firmly pressing that grip into place. Just take a couple extra minutes on this step. I think it'll give you a nice long life on that grip. Most important steps are to make sure it's clean when you start. Get it in place and then uh, just heat and press it in firmly. So it's once around. Go around again. And just paint extra attention to all the edges. If, if any dirt's going to get in there, it's, it's going to be along an edge, so spend an extra minute on this step and get a grip that lasts a long time. So we're working this in. Great. Now that we have it in place, we'll go ahead and reassemble the, the firearm here. There's the talon grip for the Sigsar P365.